subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today we'll try to learn the examples of phylum cylindrata and its characteristics phylum cylindrata examples are adansia that is sea anemone Aurelia, jellyfish, man mandarina, that is brain coral, gorgonia, sea fan, hydra, obelia, penatula, that is sea pen, and physalia, that is Portuguese man of war. Phylum cylindrata, also known as nidaria. So first the ex to learn the examples now we all try to escape from physics so the trick here is physics objectives exams may adam or george yeah you can make it gori adam or gori ne pen hide kia physics ke exam se bachne ke liye adam or gori ne pen hide kia physics the physics is for physalia objectives represents obelia exams here do not show any of the word or example may is for Minan Man mandarina adam is for Ad adam sia or is for Aurelia, George is for Gorgonia, Ne represents Nidaria, Pen is for Panatula, Hyde is for Hydra. So these are the eight examples of phylum Nidaria that can be remembered as Physics objective exams may Adam or George Napen hide Kia. Physics represents Physalia, objectives represents Obelia, May is for man Mandarina, Adam is for Adamsia, Or is for Aurelia, George is for Go Gorgonia, Ne is the phylum Nidaria, Pen is for Panatula. And hide is for hydra. Characteristics of phylum Nidaria. Now these are aquatic animals. They are mainly marine. And they are carnivores. They are either sessile, that is can't move, or are free living. Body shows radial symmetry means it can be divided into two equal halves at any plane passing through the center. Tissue level of organization is seen. In Porifera we saw cellular level of organization but in this the cells together form tissues. Now these are diploblastic animals means the body wall is two layered. Outer is ectoderm and inner is endoderm. Present between the two layers that is ectoderm and endoderm is a gelatinous layer known as mesoglia. A gelatinous layer called mesoglia is present between ectoderm and endoderm. Now in some that is corals the skeleton is made up of calcium carbonate. Now present inner to the body wall at the center is a gastrovascular cavity which has a single opening called as hypostome or the mouth. So this is the gastrovascular 
body cavity with a single opening called as mouth. Now such type of cavity is known as cilentron. Hence the name cilentrata. Digestion is both extracellular means occurring in the gastrovascular cavity and intracellular in the food vacuoles. Now they contain nidoblast or nidocytes. It is through this that they got the name nidaria. Nidoblast or nidocytes. Now these are the nidoblast or the nidocytes present on the ectoderm. A nidoblast that is present in the ectoderm contain stinging capsules also known as the nematocysts. They are present at the tentacles and also on the body, complete body. They act as organ of anchorage, means they help in attachment, play a role in defense and also help to capture prey. So, Cylentrates process cells called as nidoblast or nidocytes through which they got the name nidaria. These nidoblasts have nematocysts and they are found present in the tentacles and also throughout the body. Now the cylentrates possess two basic body forms. One, the medusa and the second one is the polyp. Now, polyp is sessile, cylindrical and the mouth and the tentacles are facing upwards. Example of polyp is Hydra and Adamsia. While a medusa is umbrella shape free swimming organisms and the mouth and the tentacles, they are facing downwards. Example, Aurelia, that is your jellyfish. Now, in some cylindrates like Obelia, both the forms exist or both the polyp and the medusa are seen. They exhibit alteration of generation. This is known as metagenesis. Now the polyp form of Obelia produces med medusa asexually. Now this is a polyp and these are the medusas produced by the polyp. So the polyp produces medusa asexually while the medusa produces polyp sexually. Asexual reproduction takes place by budding, sexual reproduction by gametes and fertilization is external means the egg and the sperms are released in water where fertilization occurs and development is indirect means they possess a larval stage. 
द लार्वा आर सीलिएटेड एंड दे आर रेफर्ड एज प्लानुला सो दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फाइलम सिलेंट्रेटा दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे प्लीज डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट एंड ऑल्सो विजिट अ वेबसाइट बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन द लिंक गिवेन बिलो थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग